So this is a status hearing set by the court. This is an official court proceeding. This is a public proceeding. This hearing is streaming live on YouTube because these are official court proceedings. You must adhere to and abide by professional courtroom decorum. So that means no smoking, no eating, no drinking, no driving. Can't be in the dentist's office, can't be at the doctor's office, no lying in bed. Please be mindful of your background noise and your background environment. Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Judge Tangela Beer. I'm the judge for Division 10. This is a status hearing in the matter of Way versus Thomas. All right, so looking at the screen, looks like we have Miss Thomas, looks like we have Mr. Way. Miss Holloway is present. Um, and so, Miss Way, who is representing you? I'm, I'm, uh, uh, my attorney, she uh, redrawed from the case, and I was trying to seek for another attorney. Okay, hold on. That was, let me see. Granting withdrawal. Deleuze, Judith Deleuze Montgomery. Okay, what's that? Okay, I'm surprised I did that. Um. Oh, before the status was set. Okay. Okay. Her withdrawal came um, before we had a status set. I knew we were going to have one, but I don't think we actually set it. But generally, okay. Um, let's figure out where we are with regard to the status. I and mean, most of that was really about the counseling. Where are we with that? Um, Ms. Halloway, can you kind of give us an update on that? Um, Your Honor, there have been some changes. There's probably been some more changes since I talked with my client. The oldest child, um, him and my client were not getting along. Um, the oldest the police child were actually called with the dad. Old, with dad? Yes. Um, the police were called. It's been an issue. So she is now living with mom and the youngest is living with dad. Unless they've changed in the last week and a half since I talked to Mr. Way, this is a very rapidly changing case. Yeah, yeah, I can actually see that because I'm going back to my notes. Just want to make sure because you get you get a lot of cases and I'm trying to keep them. And, um, the in this case, it was the oldest daughter who wanted to stay with dad, right? Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Um, and that was because apparently there was some issue with mom, um, and the police was called, etc. Yes, and now there are issues with dad. And if you, my if you remember. I'm sorry. sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, if you also remember that there was um, at least threats that she would take her life. Um, and so she was hospitalized. Um, that was the last status we had. Um, so there's been some, I'm not sure to answer your original question, if she's in counseling. And I don't know if my client would know because she doesn't live with him anymore. Okay, but I thought my last um, okay, let me let me ask then, Miss 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 Thomas Way, is she in counseling? Because I believe my last order was for there to be some sort of um, the counseling, and that we were thinking maybe defects may provide it, and if not, then the in individually because Mr. Way, I understand, is a school teacher, so my position was he would have insurance, and I think that was let me pull that up real quick. The last. Um, outside of the emergency because we had that emergency hearing. Um, so it was before that. Okay. And so that was my last order. Let me hear from you, Ms. Thomas Way, on that issue. Your Honor, uh, Kayla's actually with her dad and he's, she stayed with the grandmother. She's in a, she's still in her dad custody and she stayed with his, she's at his grandma, uh, she's at his mother house because he's living with the, the girlfriend doesn't want Kayla there because of what's been going on. So he's at, she's currently been at his mother's house. She's she's not with me. The youngest daughter's still with me. But Kayla is with him at the at her grandmother's house, which is his mother. That's where she's at now. Oh, there uh, were we aware of a girlfriend living with Mr. Way? Do you recall? I'm not sure, Your Honor, but Mr. Way and her have been together for a while. Um, and that's where he lives with her currently now. Oh. Um and he's lived with her, as my understanding, at least um at the initial kind of status hearing so it's been several months several months okay 
Mm-hmm. And he was living with her at the time. My understanding that the oldest said that she wanted to live there. Yeah. So. Yeah. N- now I'm going back and I'm looking. You're right. That was one of the one of the questions um, about whether how they got along. OK, so. What what happened with daughter and father? Mr. Way. Mr. Way. I'm going I'm to place you on the oath. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, like I said, this has been a downhill spiral with Kaylee. It started as we went to the hearing for her mother's um a warrant uh, warrant. Once the warrant got issued, I guess she went home. I guess she was talking to her mother. I'm not sure. I got the messages and she emailed her mother, you know, basically stating that, hey, that I made this stuff up. My blah, blah, blah. I said, like I told her, I'm not gonna argue with you about that. Like, you know, don't be, you know, don't do that kind of stuff because she was messaging the, you know, I, even though she's with me, I let her allow her talk to her mom, her grandma. And I, they got messages going back and forth telling Kayla that, oh, you know, the situation is her fault, you know, telling her that, you know, it's her fault that she can't see her sister. And then from there, Kayla just snapped. Kayla started arguing with me. You know, she's sending my address where we stand and she sent her address to her relatives, other people. She was, you know, sending illicit photos online you know, to other students. And, you know, with all that, you know, I, I stepped in like, hey, you cannot do that. I took the phone. Once I took the phone, she started being more belligerent. I'm running away. I'm doing this, you know, sending crazy messages to her grandma. The grandma came up to the where we was at. The grandma got a trespass warning for coming up there. And then so how Kayla was acting, you know, she has, you know, threat, you know, doing all this. So I decided to take her to the hotel room for a few days to let her calm down, you know, because how she was acting with me when she was at, she started trying to run away. Why would she you take her to a hotel room? How would that help? Because she was fine with everybody in the house. She was threatening everybody in the house. So I'm like, you know what? Let me remove us for a few days. Let me get one-on-one with her to talk to her and trying to see what- Oh, you both went to the hotel together. Yeah. No, I didn't put her by herself. She was with me the whole time. And like, okay, let me see what's going on. What's going on with the situation? She just, you know, got worse, got worse. And did, then, did I you guess, do the counseling um, that I asked for? She's in counseling now. She's in counseling. She has about three or four therapists that she sees. She don't be committed. You know, I had now she got an arraignment in June, June 20th for for putting her hands on me. She don't try to hit me while I was driving. She has ran away from home. Mr. Yes. I'm okay. Let's let's just back up for a little bit. It's a lot. It, it, yes, it is a lot, but it sounds very much like what was going on with Miss Thomas Wade when in her household. It's not, it's not not each of you. It's 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 Kaylee. Kaylee needs some help. And that's what I'm getting her help. You know, that's why I put in the therapy and stuff like that. What I'm trying to say is you and Miss Way needs to work together. We both in therapy as well. I put both. We like I set up counseling for all of us, not all three of us to do counseling as well. So we all can try to remedy and see what's going on. Like I said, like I said, the recordings, Kaylee, how just belligerent she is, cussing everything. Like I told Kayla, I have nothing against you, Mama. I just want peace. You know, I, if you're doing wrong, I'm I'm not on nobody's side. I'm just on the side of who's doing right. Okay. If y'all are fighting, and arguing, that's one thing. But like I explained to Kayla, you can't, you should not be coming to me with cuts and bruises. I should not have to take you to the hospital. That's it. I can't stop your mom from disciplining. I never said that, but I don't want my child to get beat up either. And I understand well, what, what I'm saying is. is, I think one at, at this juncture, because you have seen that other side that Miss mm-hmm. Thomas Wade was trying to express at one point. I'm not saying Miss Thomas Wade was right. I don't know what happened in your situation uh, um, or not. But what I'm saying to you is that there are commonalities that you got to recognize. When that phone was taken from um, from Kaylee, she was acting out. And even in the office when I spoke with her, you know, what I thought was very interesting was that she recognized that she has a temper. Like she said it. I have a problem. I get angry very quickly. And she and she and she acknowledged it, which is very different. I thought that was quite mature of her because most kids won't do that. They won't acknowledge that they they do have these these anger issues. And one of the good things about her is that she did acknowledge it, which made me go, great, there's some hope here. We can we can work through this um and get her where she she needs to be. But what I see now is, is that, and I was like, okay, dad can do it. Dad will be able to focus her because she was really focused on going to dad. Second daughter, I'm sorry, where is, I can't recall her name right now. Yeah. Um, she was like, you know, she really wanted to be with her sister, but she wanted to spend most of it between her mom and her, 
actually she was choosing her sister. <laughs> she wanted to spend more time with us, be with her sister and women kind of where they go, but her, her desire was to be with her mom. And so that was the idea that I was like, okay, dad would be primary over, over Kaylee. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that would kind of help. And I think we, we could still stay in that posture, but you guys got to start working together and, and at, at, as a family unit so that she understands that there's a force with the two of you and she can't go back between the two kind of working each other because she's smart enough to be able to do that. Yes, Mr. Way. Yes, uh, no, that's what I, you know, like with the counseling, I got it to where we all three of us are involved. And like I said, cause I seen what was going on with her. And like I told her, like, I don't know what has been said. I see stuff here and there with the messages between everybody. Like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to keep going back and forth. Right. Like I said, I want to fix this situation. And like I said, because of what's going on, like I said, the youngest daughter has been with me a lot more. And right. I've, you know, cause I've been working like, okay, you want to be at home with your mom goes, you know, you can go home. So we just kind of swap the children. Okay. And I'm like maybe we should just, you know, cause Kaylee is working better with her. As long as Kaylee's getting the help that she needs, Kaylee's saying to work better with her and Sherry's been working better with me. I'm like 50 50. We was going to do that. You say you was going there right anyway. So let's kind of work with that. And then from there, we can just, you know, because the kids are getting older, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to be times going to be back and forth between us. But like I explained to Kaylee, you can't run back and forth. You can't play sides. Like I explained to her, there are rules and consequences to what you're doing. Right. And like I said, now she's now she has a record for not listening. And like I explained to her, I'm not going to fight. Why she has a record for not listening? Um, You know, and back in May, she decided that she want to put her hands on me, you know, scratch me and fight me and stuff like that. So we had to, I had to take, I had to, she got an arraignment on June, on June the 20th. Oh, so she's, she's oh, been fighting me. She's that. been fighting me. She's been, like I said, running away from home. I had to report that kind of stuff. You know, her, you know, I'm driving her, hitting me while I'm driving, you know. you know. Okay. So let me, let me back up. So there was an incident in May. And in mm. May, you call the police, and now she has an arraignment due for this. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And and why did she hit you? Um, because she was. I was taking her to school, and I explained she had some headphones. I was like, um, because I, I'm with no electronics because of what she was doing. I took a phone like you don't like any electronics with me, and I took the headphones from her. She's like, they my mama headphones. Like I said, I get who headphones they are, but if I tell you, you can't take them to school, you cannot take them to school. She said she whose just, headphones they were. She said her mama bought the headphones, and she was coming back to me that day, and I said, I told her like, hey. You can't take the headphones into the school. And then she just started putting her hands on me. She scratched me up. She was grabbing my neck, trying to choke me. And so I had to call the school resource officer. I'm like, hey, look at my arm. Like, my arm was scratched up. Like, I explained to him, like, I'm, I just, you know, I'm still recovering from my surgery. And I can't be doing all this fighting with her. Because it okay. just got to the point where she just, hey, she just okay. doing what she's doing. So that that's so, so there is a, so I, I, I need to get Miss um, Holloway off the call, unfortunately. And I only have a few more minutes. So. Let me just, I, I hate to cut you off and I'm going to kind of summarize mm -hmm. and let me know. So she, there were, Kaylee was running away from home doing some um, other things. Um, and when did that start? Um, Like I said, from what the stuff with Kaylee, you know, she was trying to sneak and do stuff. But like I said, I got yeah, video. But when did that start? When did that behavior start? Because before. Um, March, March, the, March, the, the, March, either March? the 18th or the 19th. Like after we went to, after we went to the arraignment. Like after that, she just flipped. After you she went was, to the arraignment for Miss Thomas Way or for her? Mm -hmm. For Miss Thomas. Thomas Way. Okay. So after went to the arraignment, Miss Thomas Way, she started acting out. You think that was because either she recognized mm -hmm. she was lying or she used or she was influenced? I, I have no idea. Like I said, she was talking to her grandmother them. I looked at the messages, you know, telling her that, hey, it's your fault that is this, it's your fault that is that, you know, you're not seeing your sister. So I don't know what she was feeling guilty about or what it is. But like I said, from what I from what she how she expressed to me, so many different things, like you whether it being profanity laced, all kind of things. Like I said, then told, I'm not trying to keep you from your mother. I am just following what the protocol say, because I have messages of her mom asking her, you know, asking, can you can you come over? And like I explained to Kay, like, look, I'm just following the rules. And I don't and, uh, and now it makes it seem like I'm trying to keep you from your mom, which I'm not. I'm just abiding by what the court order says. I haven't done anything. And as soon as she got the opportunity to go home, I let her go home. So the so the arraignment, Miss Thomas Way, is done like you all withdrew the warrant. No, the warrant is still active, so I don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen with that. 
And like I said, as far as that, like I said, I can't do anything about that until, you know, until they do something else about that. As far as that, when I, I've already talked to the judge them about that. They said once they took it out because she wasn't even at the arraignment, they took the warrant out even despite her when I earned not her being there. Okay, Ms. Thomas, wait, tell me where you are with regard to that issue. Your Honor, I don't know anything about a warrant, but when I was talking, when I had the attorney, she said there was a warrant out, but the name that was on there was not my name. The name was spelled wrong, and I went down to the Cab County. They said it's not a warrant in the system, and it's no, it's uh, it's no warrant in the system, and it's no warrant issue. They don't know anything about a warrant. Okay, but you had an arraignment hearing. No, I don't know nothing about that because I didn't get no information on that. Okay, so right now the issue with Mister Mister Way, you all went and asking for there to be a warrant taken out because of the injuries to your daughters um, after the altercation at Ms. Thomas Way's house related to that phone or iPad, right? Um, yeah, I guess her okay. issue was something that was said to her and they got into it like that. Like yeah, I, said, I, don't, um, I don't need to go back to that incident. I remember that incident. That was the impetus for you going to this hearing mm -hmm. in March. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and your position was you understand that despite the fact that Kaylee said it didn't happen, they still took out the warrant. Yes, because she went. I had to take her to the hospital. She was, you know, she was diagnosed with a face contusion and a concussion. Um, they said head injury. So something like I said, Kaylee, this I'm Kaylee sitting and said that was going on. I I observed the bruises. Even the doctor, you know, everyone came to the conclusion that what happened. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not going back and forth. I'm like, hey, my daughter called me, and I did what I was supposed to do. Okay. Um, Judge so, Barry, if I may interrupt about the warrant, yeah. I couldn't find the case online and I don't know if it's dealing with the state court, but I did send some emails um, back in April to your office with the documents he was able to obtain. Ms. Thomas Way is correct. The warrant doesn't have a correct name. I think Tanisha, they put with like a N-E-S-H-A, but her name was spelled on the warrant or at least on the doc, the warrant application, or I'm sorry, on the hearing notice. So I'm not sure if that was resolved, uh, but her name is spelled incorrectly. Yeah, but she that shouldn't correct. stop, a, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, if they have right. the address, the date of birth, um, height, weight, that kind of stuff, that's that's going to be more controlling than if she has a misspell, uh, uh, you know, an H instead of an I or um, you know, a U instead of an A or something like that, that really shouldn't prevent a warrant. Um, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, Mr. Way, is it your position that you are moving forward or you're asking the state to dismiss it? Um, as far as that, like what what's going on with Kaylee, you know, since Kaylee wants to be there, because if they arrest her, she was not she's not going to be able to have any access to Kaylee. But that's going to be the condition of the bond of, of, the, um, of the warrant. If she gets arrested. She's not going to have any access to Kaylee. What, so, well, maybe it it depends. No, that's the condition of the cab, right? Arrested. Yeah, she won't be able. To, she won't be able to have any. But what I'm saying is that depends because it's in the cab. Yeah. I'm a superior court judge, so if if another judge that is under me takes the case, then the, we could we could I could resolve it. I could okay. I, I could move past that bond condition. By just talking with the judge, um, because they they want to give family law judges the more more uh, because they we know the case better, mm -hmm. and so they would they would not they would give way to what this court indicated would be best, um, mm -hmm. even despite that warrant. But the the concern that I have now, and I and and I'm not it'll be up to you as to I guess how you want to move forward. But to me, your two incidents sound too much alike. Um, for you all to to tr try to find yourself in that battle, um, because Miss Thomas Way basically tells a story very similar to what you just said, except apparently Miss um, Way and Miss um, Kaylee got into an actual fight and altercation, and thank God you did not, Mister Way, um, and and was was able to I guess restrain or prevent her from hurting you any further, but. Miss Thomas Wade position was that she started fighting her over over an iPad that she says her dad gave her. And you're telling me she started fighting you over some headphones that she said her mom gave her and she wasn't going to allow either of you to take them from her. It sounds very similar.
It is. And like I said, I know Kayla, you know, has been like that, you know, go back and forth. Like I explained, I'm not I'm not against her mama discipline. I just don't want her, you know, you calling me like with her. I get emails about I'm being punched in the face. I'm right. getting my head thrown into walk. And that, and you know, I'm that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, right. I talk to Kayla like, what did you do to get to this point? And when I'm seeing the injury, like I have, you know, I is my job trained me like just to make sure see what's wrong. You know, right. and, I, and, and I understand that. And I'm not I'm not I'm not faulting you for that at all. Please don't think I am. I'm just telling you that now you you have something to balance with to make some decisions as to how you want to proceed. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out what I could do to try to get the family on the same page. Um, Miss Holloway, I know you got to go in at nine. I don't want to prevent you. Is there another time you can come back that maybe we can try to finish what we can um. do? And I don't know if this case is specially set or not. I anticipate it to be um, at least three or four hours. Um, so if you want me to try to back last noon, I can back or I can contact the court if we get out earlier. Okay, why don't you contact me um, at noon and let me know. And if so, let's try to meet back at two. Can you do that, Ms. Thomas Way? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what about Mr. Way? Yes. Come back at two. Yes, I can come back at two. All right, and um, we'll we'll. Uh, I just probably need about twenty more minutes of your time, and let's try to figure out what we can can do because right now Kaylee is with your mother. Is that right, Mister Way? Well, she's with you know right now because when she kind of like I said with the defects thing, she tried went into the school said I hit her. And once they figured everything out, like I said, she's saying you hit her. Yeah, she went up to the school. And she's just and okay. Like I All said, right. yeah, I we, let's come back. Work at. Right. Let's just come. Let's come back um, at two. All right. I'm sorry, Miss Halloway. I'll let you get in. Y'all take care. I'll see you back. All right. Thank All right. you. Bye bye. All right. Mr. Way, please sit up proper. Thank you. Um. So. I wanted to <clears throat> to go back and try to figure out what the next um, position should be um, regarding the matter. Mr. Waite, you said something earlier. You said something like, um, Kaylee can stay with mom and Sharia can stay with me, something along those lines, um, because the court intended to have um, one person to stay with each. I just want to you to be mindful that my position of one person staying with one parent or the other was not because I was trying to give one parent a child. That that was not what I was doing. I was putting the children in the best position I thought they should be in, namely because the children, of course, I was trying to make sure that they were, had an opportunity to be with each other. So therefore, I made them things that they would have on the weekends with each other but that they could get their, to some extent, their desire, because I believe that would be a great way of them building relationships. And then, so there are many things that I consider, but but the idea of just giving one parent a child for the sake of being even, that is not the court's consideration. I just wanted you to be mindful of that. Um, but, the, but the thing that the court does want to do is um, put the children in the best circumstances that they could be in. Um, and that so that each of you will be able to parent uh, accordingly or be able to, to do your best parenting. Um, so with regard to Kalia, uh, Kaylee, it's because you both have had instances with her um, where it became physical. And I remember, as I stated to you in some of the interviews that I had with her, where she acknowledged that sometimes she gets a temper and she kind of reacts before she kind of realizes that she has this um, kind of anger streak um, that she indicated that she realizes, which I thought was a really good place to begin um, and was hopeful that maybe therapy would help. Mr. Way indicates to me that they, she's involved in therapy and it doesn't appear to be successful because it, it appears that this incident that he just discussed was in May, was well, starting in March, but kind of kind of reached his head in May. Am I right on that, Mr. Way? Yes, it started in March and it just progressively got worse. Progressively got worse until until May. Um, 
And so then I'm, I'm going to give you an opportunity, Ms. Thomas Way, to talk. Um, and then uh, Ms. Thomas Way indicated that um, the child then was placed with her mother or Mr. Way's mother. She's with, um, because of what was going on, with how, when I get Kayla, how often that we, you know, she clashes with me. So my mother, you know, my mother stepped in to help me, like, hey, you know, to keep her, you know, to calm her down. Like, you know, my family's your, been helping me Your a mother. Lot. Your mm -hmm. mother. Yes. Okay. That's what I want to make, um, to understand. All right. And so she's with your mother right now. Uh, yeah, she's with me, like, you know, because we, we don't stay that far from each other. So when Kaylee, you know, starts arguing with me because she doesn't want to be at home and, you know, she starts arguing, you know, hey, my mom steps in, like, hey, let me calm her down. Let me talk to her, you know. And so we usually be all right after that. But, you know, when I'm just one on one with Kaylee, you know, how she's acting, you know, is a back and forth and, you know, not being able to been told, been told anything. If I tell anything, she wants to fight me. She wants to argue. She wants to cuss me. Wait, out. wait. My question is, your mother, she's with your mother, or are you telling me she goes over there? Sometimes I'm trying to understand the circumstance. I don't need to she know goes, why. She, she just goes over there sometimes. So where is she now? She's with me. We're at my mama's house right now. Okay, I understand you might be at your mom's house now. When I say where is she now, I mean, where does she lay her head at night, last night, the night before last? With, with my mother. Okay. When you say she's with me, are you telling me you moved in with your mother? No, I have not moved in with my mother. Like I said, we're, I'm, I'm in the process of moving before for the sake of her because that's what she's, you know, I, where I'm at now. And like I said, she doesn't want to be there. So like I said, I, I have no issue with moving. I just, you know, I just, like I told Kat, I just can't keep up and then move. And, you know, every time you get on, you don't want to be somewhere. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Are you moving with your mother or not? No, I'm not moving my mother. Okay. So when you say up and move, what are you talking about? Oh, Kayla, um, because where I'm at now, where I reside at now, and Kayla doesn't want to be where, you know, where I live at now with my with my with my partner. And so because of what's going on, like when she gets over there, she's you know, either she's arguing with everybody, she's trying to fight everybody, call the police on people, sending out the address to everybody. And so we're trying to do my best to protect the household. Okay. She doesn't want to live with your girlfriend. Is that what you're telling me? Mm-hmm. Uh, not at this point, me too. Okay. And has she indicated what she wants? Um, right now, well, she indicated that she wants to be with her mother. She doesn't want to be with me. She doesn't want to see me anymore. She can't stand me. I mean, I can go on. Okay. All right. And but you're at the house with her now. And you told me just before, just a few seconds before you come over, you come over. She stays with you. And only when she gets active, your mother steps in. Is that still the case? Yeah, or that's, every time, that's, every, that's every time I get her. We are, she's arguing. So you come to get even though she, she's been staying with your mother since when? Uh, I would say probably about. I think around the time the incident happened, around like the first of when the incident happened on the knife, and that happened with the um that was suggested through the CPS worker, you know, and as a as a safety plan to protect me. So the 9th of February, I mean, the I mean 9th, the ninth of my ninth of May. Okay, so the 9th of May, she moved in with your ground with your mother. Mm -hmm. But you come and get her and take her back home, and only when she gets out of hand does she go back with your mother. Yes. Okay. And you, she's going to therapy how often? Um, she has therapy with Ms. Cynthia, Miss Gloria. I think she has another with the doctor. So, so far she's seen about three people. She's supposed to see about three people this week. So I think um, she gets three virtual appointments and I think Ms., um, they want to do one or two um, in person throughout the week. The th and who are the therapists that she's seeing? Um, what she's saying she's saying um people with lovely hand and um the Henry County Department. So she's saying um a therapist named Miss Cynthia, um Miss Gloria, and I think and she's Gloria, saying a Gloria is with Lovely Hand. Yes. Is that through DFACS? Mm hmm And is that through DFACS through the incident that happened Miss Thomas Way? Um no, that's through the incident that happened on the ninth. Um she was saying someone else. 
with um with that person. So I think because of the incident, they transfer everybody up here to the Henry County because this is why I stay. So, what who did you contact in relationship to my order indicating that she's supposed to start? With, um, therapy. with therapy? Let me. Um, yeah, because they contacted me. So whatever the incident, they contacted me. So it looks like I wrote on a temporary basis, petitioner father should have primary custody over the minor child, K. Way, and respondent mother should have the primary custody of the minor child, C. Thomas. Respondent shall not have any parenting time with K. Way until further order of this court. That's what I wrote. All right. And then I said the parties are ordered to participate in family therapy and enroll minor child, K. Way, in individual therapy. The parties can satisfy this requirement by participating in therapy coordinated by the Department of Family and Children's Services or may arrange therapy on their own. I signed that in February. Where did she start going in February? She started going to someone named Ms. Williams. Ms. Williams is through what? Where, where's Your Honor? She's through DFACS. I believe um, it was set up with the mom's case. And then she was in therapy there. I believe she was even in therapy when we came in February. Okay. Jordan, so, may I say something? Yes. Yes. May I say something? She was uh, going through the, the Miss Gwen Gwendolyn Williams through DFAS. I think that was in February. I think the case got closed. I want to say in April, but after that, I continued to her to have therapy with Miss Gwendolyn Williams, and that was every. That's what's been every Monday. That it was every Monday with DFAS. Then after that, when she closed the case, and I told her I wanted them to continue th uh, therapy or counseling, that was every Wednesday. But Mr. Way stopped her from going to see Ms. Williams. Why? And that was I have no idea because she called me and asked me when Kaylee or uh, Kaylee coming to the sessions. Because if I'm not mistaken, Kaylee probably attended three or four sessions. Okay, Mr. Wade, why was she stopped from going to Miss Williams? Um, the, the issue with Miss Williams is because the incident that happened, um, my issue was getting there. And like I said, when I spoke to Miss Williams, you know, hey, one minute she sit there and say we can do it on Zoom. And when the time she said we can do it on Zoom, then I talked to her the same day. She like, no, we can't. And like I got explained to her my issue was the distance. And then with the then they end up switching her to the um I asked for I asked for a request to be changed for someone closer in my uh, in my area. So how long, so basically we're talking about for the last, she hasn't had anybody consistently. She's only had three or four sessions since February. And then she switched to lovely hands. And at this point may have had two or three sessions. Uh, she had more sessions with lovely hands. She was seeing Miss Cynthia almost every week. Every and week. Like, like she would come like on Sundays and stuff like that. Miss Cynthia would work around my schedule and stuff like that. Like she would come meet with Kaylee. So Kayla has been getting her, and then you got um for, like for two weeks Kayla was committed as well. Committed where? Um to um Ridgeview when she tried to commit suicide. And, and so that's a lot. A lot of time was taken up with with her being there. She tried to commit when? Um, I would say back in April. I would say around April sixteenth, seventeenth, around that time. It might have been the seventh. I know. She, I think she was released on the seventeenth. So she was in there for about ten days. And I know Miss Holloway said she sent something to us, but I don't remember receiving anything about was there an emergency issue dealing with her suicide? I don't recall. You're on mute. Sorry. Yes, Your Honor. We met, I believe, April 12th. Um, and during that time, we discussed it. I believe so. 
Let me just make sure. Um, that would be... Not sure if it was sent via email, but I do believe we discussed it in May. Um, I see some correspondence between myself and Ms. Thomas Way's former counsel. Um, yes, I believe at the time, because uh, I see an email I sent to the former counsel on April 12th, and at that time, um, Kaylee was still at Ridgeview uh, when we had that April 12th status conference. But at the uh, same hearing. Twelve status conference. I knew that she was in Ridgeway for committing suicide, trying to commit suicide. Yes, Your Honor. I believe we mentioned it because she was still there. She hadn't gotten out yet. I, I I just don't remember that. I thought that this that main meeting that we had was about whether or not he was trying to to move her um, to another city. I thought that was the main, and I just don't remember spending that much time. Um, it, maybe, maybe because I was moving quickly, I didn't appreciate what was being said. Um, because I, I know we were on a time restraints and my, I think that meet, that meeting was really just, I, I was giving you guys like 15 minutes and it was only just to make sure that the child was not moved out of the jurisdiction. I don't remember spending that additional time on it, but, but that's where, I guess, uh, out of the issue where we are now. So there was a yes. attempt. She was at Ridgeview for a couple of weeks um, and then she came out um, and then she started with lovely hands because of the mm -hmm. issue with the way. Mm, yeah, something like that. I mean, because she was working with Miss Cynthia prior to that. And so like I said, because I... Who, who works for her because of her mental health after I suicide? Um, after who she's seeing for that? The same the people with lovely hands because Miss Cynthia was helping her prior to that, and once all that happened, I re I re requested their services because they stay within my county, and they um provide and I can give you the doctor name for her. Um, uh, she's talking to Doctor. Give me one second. I gotta look at this because she spoke with him yesterday, and she's talking to Marlon O. I think Marlon Odin, and she was um uh, you know they that's who she been reached on for her behavior. So she Marlon had, Odin, said, if I may interject, Marlon Odin, he's not a doctor. He's a therapist. He's actually a therapist in another case of mine. Um, they're called Hope Behavioral. Um, yeah. Hope, C-O-P-E, Hope Behavioral. Uh -huh. um, there is a, a PhD doctor there, uh, but Marlon Odin, Odin is a has a master's in social work. I don't believe he's even a licensed clinical um, social worker. Because I objected to him, so I know. I, I think she mm. needs seeing. I think if if you have a suicide attempt and she's coming out, she needs to be seeing um, um, a, a doctor. And you, you, you know, luckily you are in a position to have insurance for her to be able to see someone. But she needs to see someone that. Could, could assess her to make sure she doesn't need to be on medication or things of that nature. But especially if she, what was the suicide? Um, like I said, I was with her and like I said, I, I we was on the phone. We, I, I think I had talked to Miss Tiffany Bell when, uh, when I was talking to him uh, about making a payment uh, for my case. And I, I don't know, Kaylee just started cussing at me, fussing at me. So she punched me in the back of the neck. And then she tried to wrap her, um, wrap her, wrap her neck with the seatbelt. And I pulled over at the police precinct and, you know, got help. And she was telling everybody that she wanted to harm herself. So they committed her. Okay. So she was tried to wrap the seatbelt around her and you took her to the police department? Mm hmm And they committed her from there. Okay. Um, yeah. Jordan, may I say something? Yes. Okay, because the the story that I got from Kaylee was that she that she she told her dad that she was going to kill herself and him, and because she called me from, I think it was the Emory Henledale, and she was like, "Mom, I'm in a hospital," and I'm like, "What you in the hospital for?" And I was like, she was like, because at, at the time because at the time the order was there where I couldn't handle family time with Kaylee, so I couldn't go there and visit her to see what was actually going on, and so she was like, I told them that uh. That I was gonna kill myself and dad because dad kept messing with me. He kept talking about you. He kept saying stuff about you. And I kept telling, him, was it true? 
So she was like, he just kept adding, kept adding. So I told him I was going to tell me he's going to kill me. She's like, well, I told him I'm going to kill her before he do it. And then I think two days later, if I'm not mistaken, she called me and said that she was in Ridgeview Institute in Smyrna. And I talked to, I guess it was a doctor, a nurse, or whoever it was that was down there with her. And I asked them what was going on because I come visit. I told them what was going on that I couldn't visit her or anything. And I was trying to see what she is all right. And they told me when the visitation days was, so I was going to tell my grandma to go visit her to actually find out she was all right, see if everything was fine. So I think the next day they told me that I needed to call to actually find out some information from the doctor. And it was like Kayla didn't need any medication because nothing was wrong with Kayla and that she could have came home. I think it was some 10 days, 10, 10 days, some, uh, I can't remember what it was, but I know it was 10 days where she had to be there. Somebody had to come and get her. But since I couldn't do it because I didn't have the, the order was there, the dad had to, Desmond had to come and get her. Okay. Do you think you're equipped to handle Kaylee at this juncture in consideration of things that you've already heard? Um, Mr. Way discuss and some of the your own prior incidents that you had with Kayla? Yes, ma'am, because I've been keeping Kayla in therapy because I know Kayla actually needs therapy. And since the incident, since Kayla been coming over with me, she's been, that's why I told him to keep her in therapy. Even when the defense case got closed, I told him to keep her in therapy as well as I got Sherry, uh, Sherry in therapy as well. M Mr. Way. Um, you, your, your position is, is that when she's been with you, she's been in therapy. Is that what your position yeah, is? She's been in therapy. I've given you the name of the people. And like I said, again, you know, getting everything together. And a lot of times when I do have scheduled, you know, scheduled appointments with, I try to schedule my appointments around the time that I have. And with the Kayla, like I said, I've allowed Kayla to go back and forth with her mom since that has calmed her down a little bit. And like I said, Sherry has been with me. So that kind of offset it on, on that foot. Wait a minute. So, I that, that you didn't allow her to be with her mom. So she has been to Miss Thomas. You remember when we went there, you sit there and say, you put her or you said we can go, uh, let her go over the, uh, on the, on Wednesdays and the weekends. So I, that's what I, I thought you her to do. But you, didn't you just tell me you were not doing that? Are you telling me you are doing that? I, you, you, when we came back for the, um, before the mercy hearing, you, that's what you were telling me. You're going to put an order in so she can be at home with her mother. And I was allowing her to go back. Did she go at with her mother? She, she's been going with her mother. I'm not okay. kept her from her mother. Okay. And so when she, when she came back with you, that y'all had that incident. So she was with her. She was visiting her mother, but you all were still having that con the, that contention. Yes. Me, me and her have been going back and forth since March. So no matter if it's her running away, it's her putting her hands on me, it's her trying to kill herself. Kill me, it's, she has been doing all this since March. Now, when was she, when did I, when did after this incident, when did I indicate that she's going to be in your custody? What month was that? That Since was in like February. It was yeah. in fe February mm -hmm. of when? Like the 9th, 9th of February or something like that. Cause I had her since January, like something like mid part of January. You, you got her since January, 2023? Four. I got her this year. 2024. Mm-hmm. And by March, that's when she started running away and doing all of those things. Yeah, she just, like, we was fine. I had no issues with her. She was listening. She was complying. You know, then I found out a lot of things that she was doing. I took her phone and stuff because of her actions. And, you know, if I took the phone and everything, told her what she can, you know, she has to abide by the rules of the house. She just flipped out. You know, it, like I said, it went from profanity, running away, you know, sending my address to other two family members through on Instagram, talking to boys. Uh, she was doing a lot of things that I didn't that I don't agree with. And like it, I said, I stepped in and checked it. Does Miss Thomas Way know your address, or you're saying the address she was giving? Kaylee gave Kaylee gave my address. Was giving my address on Instagram. Was sending it to folks on Instagram. Sending well, it to them. You said the family. You said she was sending it to. Sent it to her. She sent it to her. I think her auntie, her cousin. So I've sent. I've, like I said, I've showed. I've sent screenshots and stuff like that from Instagram to um to my attorney. Like it's a lot of things Kaylee was doing. Yes, but w what's wrong with her sending your address to family? Are there family members you didn't want to have your address? Them, them are not. Them are her family members. Like people, I don't. You know, I don't really deal with those people. And like I said, I don't have no problem with people knowing. But if I get an address, it's fine. But for what what Kayla was doing, like hey, telling people that I was doing stuff to her, that she didn't feel safe around me. And like I said, because I, I I'm not. I never stopped from having communicating with a family. But she was okay. giving my address to people. Like I see, she gave it to her mama. That's one thing. But cousins, them people, we I don't know. She should not be giving out my address without my consent. Okay, all right. And so, Miss Miss Holloway, help me. 
um, based on your information, what you have with regard to where you see things? What's your suggestion? Um, I'm not sure. Just to clarify the facts, you did oh. off. You did. I think it's five five two or whatever the schedule is, where the child is with um, parents during the week, and then they spend the weekends together. Um, we I we had submitted a uh, proposed order. And opposing counsel and I could not agree on the child support issue. There was an issue about the warrant. So there's been an email communication. So there was no written warrant, but I uh, uh, written order. But I instructed Mr. Way that you had given a verbal order from the bench and that they needed to start that visitation. And so they were. Seems like at one at some point that then stopped. Um, and they and the children went to their respective homes. So Kaylee was with her mom, and then the youngest was with Mr. Way. Okay. And okay. So do you, at this juncture, based on the information you have about how much there, I, one of the things I think is that we haven't got anything that seems to be consistent for any type of significant period of time, even though the court kind of wanted this by February, but because there's been so much movement, we haven't been able to get something consistent. All right. So Mr. Way, your mother is okay with keeping Kaylee. Is that what you're telling me? She's been okay with it. Like I said, we discussed it and everybody's trying to figure out whether Kaylee's going to stay with me or go home with her mother. But because mm -hmm. how she's acting, she wants to be at home with her mother. And like I said, I have no issue with her being with her mother as long as she's doing a the therapy. And the therapy, you know, has already been set to where she has multiple sessions with her, with her mother. Like I said, Sherry's been with me more so than Kayla has. So, like I said, we have kind of worked together on in that respect as to, you know, managing the kids. But like I said, if Kayla wants to be at home with her mother, I have no qualms with that, but she has to be doing the therapy. This therapy has already been set, and Sherry has been asking to be with me because that's who's been with me more so during this time. But Mr. Way, my problem is, is that you moved the therapy back to Henry County. So I can't. I had to. I, I can't because of they, they gone by my address. So I, yeah, I, that, I that's not, how they work. Yeah, that's that's not my concern about necessarily why you had to do it. I'm concerned about it. It was done. And so now if I pull her back mm -hmm. to Ms. Way, she's going to Miss Thomas Way is going to have the same problem, which is no. you got you have a therapist in another county and that. You know, whether or not they would come to the cab, I don't know. Um, but you still got the distance problem again. Um, that, and that, I like well. the idea of Miss, of, of, she, of Kaylee. Are y'all with me? Yes, we're here. Okay. I do like the idea of Kaylee being with your mother, somebody kind of on neutral ground while we kind of get through this therapy um, position. But I don't know if your mother is willing for her to stay like through the summer, what would your, what would her, what would your mother's position be on that? In other words, to keep her from playing the both of you, you have neutral ground, get the therapy kind of under belt so we can kind of figure out what to do next. Do you think your mother would be willing to do the summer? Yes. My mom has been, you know, she stepped up and helped out with the situation. And she has been very, you know, helping me out with this throughout all this and whatever needs to be done. That's what she's been doing to help me through the situation. OK, there's something in the, someone in the background. Is that's that Kaylee? Kaylee came down here. Oh. OK, Kaylee does not need to be in the room. OK. Um, and then. We could we could still have some visitation with Miss Thomas Way, and of course for you as well. But that maybe primarily she would stay with the grandmother during the weekday, um, and then on the weekend, one week you could alternate the the weekends, um, and see how that would work. Do you think your girlfriend, Mr. Way, would be open to weekend visitation? Oh, she's fine. It's it's not. It was never. That was never the issue. It's about Kaylee not wanting to be there and the actions that Kaylee has caused. And like I told Kaylee, you can come back. You know, you come home when you want to. When I when I come home, she gets she refuses to get out the car. She gets argumentative. She starts beating on my windows, kicking on the car seats. And like I explained to her, like 
nobody's, you know, nobody's ever stopped you from being here. You don't want to be here. And I don't know, like, when it changed, what was said to make it change? I don't know what's going on with it. Like I said, it's never been an issue. The only person making the issue is Kate. All right. So let's do this. Let's, um, we, we need, we need to do a few things. One, Kaylee needs to see a psychiatrist that is a medical doctor with a degree in psychiatry. She needs a psychiatrist. Um, she also needs a therapist. Okay. But I think if we're going to keep her grandma for the summer, we might be able to keep miss. Um, I, cause I don't want to, I don't want to start over with miss, um, um, you said Miss Gloria with lovely, with lovely hands. And she said she's been with, with her for a minute. So maybe we can keep, um, lovely hands, Mr. Way, you can make sure she gets to the therapy and then we'll have weekends with the parents. What do you think about that? Miss Thomas way. Do it. The, uh, therapy, actually the therapy is on zoom. The counseling is on Zoom because the uh she just actually Miss I think it's Miss Cynthia. We do family counseling with Miss Cynthia, me, Desmond, and Kaylee, and that's on Zoom as well. Also, oh, all, is all, our own Zoom. Yes, the only oh. one that wasn't on Zoom was the one that was in the cab county with Miss Williams. Okay, okay, that's the only one that wasn't on Zoom. So they're not okay. So these are not going to be in person meetings. No, from what? For, no, because the counselors, the uh, the they called me and it's asked me, is Kaylee with me on Wednesdays? Because I said I told him, because he said they told him that I have her on Wednesdays. So they called me on Wednesday. They sent me a uh, call me before Wednesday and asked me, am I going to have Kaylee Wednesday? And I'm like, I supposed to get her, but I'm not sure he's going to let her come over. So it's like sometimes he'll let her come on Wednesdays, and sometimes he don't. He'll let her come on Fridays, and sometimes he don't let her come at all. Okay. The family Zoom sessions, when are they? They just started, they just started Tuesday. So it's on Tuesday. They just started this Tuesday. So y'all have, is it supposed to be set? Just started yesterday. Is it set for every Tuesday? Ma'am. Is it, oh, is going forward? Will yes, it be every that's, what the, uh, that's what she said, because it's through defense. Yes. Is it, is it going to be every Tuesday? The family therapy, yes, but the other counselor that Kayla has, she has, I think, two more counselors. If I'm not mistaken, they called me, and that's supposed to be when I have her on Wednesday, because he told her that I get, he told her that I get her on Wednesdays. What type of what type of ses session is the Wednesday sessions between just you and Kaylee? What what type, of, uh, what type of session is that for? So you got family on Wednesday. Tuesday, what what type of sessions does she have on Wednesday? It's hold off and it's you right now. Do you know Mr. White? Can tell me. Yes. Because um with like I said, with Cynthia, um most of Just the when it comes what the session is. Um I, I, the, I kind of one for the one she had for Wednesday was for uh, behavior. That's with Mr. Marlon Odin. Tuesday is with the family. Thursday is with Miss Gloria um by herself. Or with me and her mother as well. And depending on where Kate is located at, if Kayla's with me, then it can be Miss for Miss Gloria, it can be in person. All right. So uh, for the family sessions on Tuesday, who's who's who who runs that session? Gloria or someone else? Cynthia. Miss Cynthia. Cynthia runs the family on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss oh. Gloria doing both as well. So she's getting a lot, it's a lot of therapy for all of us involved. Yeah, Cause Miss Gloria, she doing a. Uh, she said the parenting is okay. individual parenting. I I, I I I don't need the background. I need the people's name. Okay, on Wednesday, on on Tuesday, that is family session conducted by Cynthia. Yes. Does anyone else help Cynthia? No. Um. No. All right. On Wednesday, that's behavior, and that is Marlon Odin. Yes. And on Thursday, that's Gloria. Um, and that's with Kaylee, or it could be with the with, family, with one of the mm -hmm. parents. Yeah, uh, or probably both, depending on depending on what she's asking of us. All right, and the, and is there any other sessions? Uh, no, not to my not no. All right, I would like for you to talk with Mr. Odin to see if he would recommend a 
psychiatrist so she can go to see a psychiatrist. Okay. She okay. needs a psychiatrist. Um, and if they say, you know, the we think working with Odin is all she might need, that's fine. If they think medications might be appropriate or they want to suggest something else, do it. But she needs an evaluation out um, um, so we can figure out what's going on. Okay. Okay. All right. And it may be when she got released from Ridgeview that Ridgeview suggested Mr. Odin and came up with a release plan. But I don't know what that plan is. So I need to either either she already has a release plan and this might be it. Or this, this was it. These are the, um these are the people that they gave me and that I was just following, you know, the leads because they contacted me um about what was going on with her. You and told so me told me defects contacted you defects it, contacted me uh with the behavior dot uh odin that's that's with through love uh that's through cope them two different entities and with defects is miss cynthia and miss glorious through um henry county cps okay so when she got when she was released from ridgeway ridgeway is the one who gave you the behavioral therapist yes Ms. Martin odin mm -hmm. got it okay i just wanted to make sure okay so this came from ridgeview yes all right. So we didn't, we don't need a therapy. We, that means that, and, 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 and they did not recommend for her to have a psychiatrist or consider medications or anything after that. No, really? no, they did not. And even I went back and they gave me a, um, they gave her the medicine to take and the medicine that, you know, that is supposed to um, handle her in, um, calm down her inhibitions, but the medicine that they gave her, like I explained to the doctor, you know, can, the medicine that they gave her, they said it didn't work. So, the only thing I can do now is just you know get her get her on my insurance and go from there. Because like I said, I couldn't really put on my insurance through through that the fact that she was on Medicaid. Okay, so I we're gonna keep everything as is, and then what I'm gonna do is, um, we'll 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 oh let me uh, Miss Thomas way I think you were about to say are you your position is is that you want her. What what is your position on how I articulate it, which is that she would stay with your stay with his mom on the weekday so that you can kind of get through these therapy sessions without being in the home with her. And then on the weekends, you guys would be able to alternate weekends and spend some individual time with her. In other words, if you have her in your home, it might be more difficult to get through the therapy sessions than it would be if you have her on neutral ground when you all have your sessions. What are your what are your thoughts are about that? I don't have any problem with traveling if I need to travel for her to go to therapy. I don't have a problem with that. Because okay. I was taking I actually was driving her to the to the therapy she was going to with Ms. Williams. So I don't have a problem with this Zoom or it's I not, don't have a problem. Not worried about transportation. I'm worried about her mental state when she has these meetings and for you all to be able to kind of grow. It, it's one thing when she can kind of play both of you against each other and she's in one household, she's doing good just for the meantime. And then all of a sudden you have this behavior change. And so what I'm trying to say is if we could put her like in a neutral place with her grandmother so that you all can get through some weeks of session so you all can see whether she's complying and making changes without having to kind of hold the carrot over each of you as to where she's going to live. I'm hoping that that might be able to allow some more of a breakthrough in her therapy rather than staying with one of you um, and kind of holding the carrot over each of you or uh, or she's not necessarily ready. I, I, I'm just kind of concerned about moving her between the two of you back and forth is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I don't have a problem. She can stay with her grandmother because I talk, I actually visit the grandmother the other day and she was like, Kayla can stay over there. Okay. So I think about the grandmother go to work at night sometimes. So I guess the days that she, because she go to work at night sometimes and then sometimes she's, because I really don't know her off days, but I do know she work at night sometimes. Okay. I don't so like it. You know anything about the night working, Mr. Way, and what days those are because she doesn't need to be home by herself at night. Um, as far as that, you know, she's not at home with by herself. Like, uh, my mother has a husband; he's usually here, and his, you know, his mother's here. But as far as I didn't even know, you know, because I'm here every day, so I'm here here every day with her. 
So we run, you know, depending on what's going on, we're running back and forth, you know, just making sure that she's all right. So my mama works on the weekends, but she's not here by herself. This is a house, you know, it has it's her grandmother's here and her grandfather's here. And so but, she's not by but, herself. I understand, but the grandmother goes to work. Who's there? Grandfather? Yes, yeah, grandfather or grandma, uh, the great grandmother's here. Oh, there's a great grandmother that lives in yes. the house. Oh, no. Yes, it's, it's three it's adults in, in the here. House. Okay. All right, then. So um, I say let her stay with um, Mr. Way's mother. You all would alternate the weekends. Um, and and when you alternate those weekends, um, Sharia will be with each of you during those weekends. Why? Why am I? On, why? Why are you on mute, Mister Way? Did Did Sharia walk back into the room? Yes, Kaylee walked back down here. She's complaining I'm about being with her mom, and like I said, like like I said, because of what she has done, like, and I'm trying to calm her down. She's not listening. Yeah, you're on. Can I say something? Okay. Because yeah. Kaylee actually said she don't have a phone. She can't talk to me because he took her phone from her. So it's like only time I see or talk to her is when when she come over. So she don't have a phone for me to contact her at all. So it's like she don't have any contact with me. <laughs> Mr. What? Thank you. Mr. Way, is there another room that you can go to so you can lock the door? Yes, I'm I'm doing that now. Uh, uh. I'm trying to think because you go outside to your car. I'm I'm not sure that I'm not sure the Wi-Fi gonna reach out the up there, but I I got something. Give me one second. Have we ever considered a guardian at litem in this case, Miss Holloway? No, Your Honor, because the evidence had closed um, when you all when they had their final hearing, but. Um, if, if one could be appointed, I think that that would be helpful. I don't know the party's ability to pay. Um, Ms. Thomas Way isn't working. Um, I think they may qualify um, for the pro bono program, but I'm not sure. Or it might be on a sliding scale at least. Um, I, um, I I think I need a guardian ad litem to make sure her mental uh, relate re more mostly related to her mental health. Um, we need somebody to look at these reentry records and mm -hmm. make sure that what what's in place is is sound for her because I, I'm not a therapist <clears throat> and I'm kind of doing the best I can based on you know my experiences and things I've done in the past, but um, I, I don't know where I, I I'm listening to the parents as to where they're saying. And what they're saying they're doing, but by the same token, Mister, you you got you got Kaylee already demanding as to where she want to go and what she wants to do, and I, I'm not sure how that's gonna how to how it's gonna pan itself out, especially if she's running away from home um, and things of that nature. So let's we're gonna have to play this by ear as well. I'm gonna do. Um, I, I see you both. You can put your hand down. I'm going to, my intent is to try to do, um, maybe we'll come back in a month to see how well this plan is working and we'll start try to see if we can get a guardian item in place as well so we can make sure that mentally she's okay. Um, Mr. Way, um, when she ran away from home, where did she go? And how she long did she she went back to her mother's house. Okay, um, she went away from home and to go home. To her mom. Yeah, and that's why I don't let her have any devices because, like I said, she was giving the address out to people and she, you know, through like through live. And so I don't know if she had money on cash up. So when we, that's 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 why she doesn't have a you know devices with me because I'm more concerned about you know whether she gets my mother address out to somebody or well, no matter where she is, I have to be mindful of the people that is with me because that's what she has been doing. Now, how can Miss Thomas Wade then speak to her during the week? Um, my mother, um, like I said, how she can speak, call her she, mom. Yeah, she my mom. She can call Kayla from my um, my, or Kayla can call her um from my mother's phone. Your mom has a home phone or a cell phone? Cell phone. 
you know, like I said, the kind of like I said, we try to because when she talks to her mother and stuff like that and she gets off the phone, that's when she becomes very confrontational. And, you know, I want to go home or she starts acting out, she starts lashing out, she starts fussing. So like only time that we she seems to be if she's over there with her mom. But when she's over here with me or with this with by is she is either she just get very outlandish. All right, Miss Thomas what do you wish to say? Oh, uh, I was just over <clears throat> excuse me. I was just over there well, I think last week with Kaylee and his mother and the stepfather. And Kaylee did not say anything about she wanted to come home with me. She was over, actually she was comfort over there with her. She's comfort at their house and they were like, she's welcome to come here because I have no problem with the mother or the stepdad. Like we talk all we talk whenever we're around each other. It's just that Kayla don't have a device while she's over there for me to sit there and figure out if she's all right, have she ate. Because last time I saw the mother, she was like, Kayla didn't have any underwears over there. So I had to bring her some clothes over there. And she was like, Well, the dad didn't bring her nothing to eat till almost nine o'clock. And she's like, It really no food over here. So I'm trying to figure out when do I need to bring her something to eat or when do I need to bring her some clothes so she won't have to keep washing the same clothes every day. Well, I don't I, I kind of agree with Mr. Way. It might not be a good idea for Miss for Kaylee to have a phone if she's acting out in the way that she's acting out. She might need a break. Um, so okay. you guys figure out a way of making contact with each with her. But for right now, I suggest you call Miss. Um, what's your mother's name, Miss, Mr. Way? Melanie. What's her name? Melanie. Melanie what? Way. Okay. So right now, I think you need to contact Miss Melanie Way. Um, use her phone number. Use okay. her phone to be able to make contact with her. And I'll um, also put in an order that the that she can call you um, okay. to, um, from a family's device, a family's phone, family member's phone. Um, and at some point, we'll figure out what to do next. But I really do need everybody to be on board. You guys got to be on the same page. Um, because if you're not on the same page, she's going to she's gonna eat a wedge if she can. If she knows you want one thing, but somebody else wants the other, she's going to use it. And if she knows that you're not going to be behind Mr. Wade's decision not to give her a cell phone, she's going to use that to her advantage. But if she knows that both of you are on the same page, that she cannot have a cell phone, she won't be able to use it against you. But if she knows that Ms. Thomas Way wants, if she feels like you, Ms. Thomas Way, are okay with her having a phone, she's going to fight her dad on it because she's going to be able to say, mom wants to call me. I can't do anything without mom because that's what she thinks. But I think if you double down Ms. Ms. Thomas Way and say she can't have a phone because we're going through this therapy, she, you know, cause Kayla, you got to get through this therapy first. And, okay. you know, we'll reevaluate you getting a phone after we figure out how it's going to, you know, create help create a better circumstance for this family you got to got to be on the same page because she will break that she'll break into it if she can and wedge her way into wedging between the two of you and you don't need that for right now um so let's um what we're going to do is i'll make an appointment excuse me make a status here in four weeks to kind of see where we are she'll stay with the mother you all will alternate weekends when you alternate weekends Shir sharia would be with you on that alternating that alternated weekend um, you guys can go back and forth with Sharia, but Sharia is in Ms. Thomas Way's control, which means that just like with Kaylee, it's primarily in your control, Mr. Way. I haven't changed that, but I am changing where she's staying. Okay. Well, I'm not arguing with that because I don't feel like I said Sherry wants to be with me. So, like I said, well, wherever Sherry is, she's with Sherry with me right now. And that's fine. But if, you know, Tom, Ms. Thomas Way is her primary. All right. So just be mindful of that. I have been, you know, whenever she's she comes home, it's just Sherry's been with me more often, been with me more so. All right. Um, but on the weekends, when you are when you have Kaylee on the weekends, um, the weekends that you all get Kayla, Kaylee, Sher Sherry should be there so she can spend time with her sister as well. Okay. They all spend right. time with each other. Good. I'm gonna contact um um pro bono and try to see if we can get a guardian at items particularly so we can get these Ridgeway records to make sure that we're doing everything we're supposed to do in that regard. Um, you guys need to figure out what you're going to do with all this, um, these reports and this criminal at, um, stuff that you have going on. I suggest that you all 
Mr. Way, you speak Ms. Holloway and come up with the best way of handling your circumstance. Ms. Thomas Way, I know you indicated you're going to try to get somebody else, an attorney you might need to do that so we can figure out what to do next. But I can tell you from the way it's looking from this court, if you have, I know circumstances where you have a child fighting both of you, it doesn't look good. Okay. So let's figure that out. Um, I don't want to I, I want you to do what you think is best, but I also want you to be mindful of the real circumstances um, that you're, you guys are looking at now. All right? All right, okay. then. Quick thing. Do you want us still to look into getting a psychiatrist? No, not right now. I think okay. Mr. Wade tells me that the psychiatrist is the one who rep recommended Odin. So what I think what we could do now is keep what we have now, try to meet, meet, get, get your guardian at litem, and then we'll go through the Ridgeway records just to make sure we're, we're doing exactly what Ridgeway um, indicated or what we should be doing. Okay. But like I said, I, I, I knew from the beginning when she was first here, when I interviewed her, which I thought was, I still think it was, you know, very mindful of someone to kind of know what their behavior is because she admitted, you know, that she kind of gets... Um, has kind of more of explosive behavior when she can't get what she wants. Um, she said it, that's, that's the kind of behavior I have. I know I need to change, but it was just difficult for her to figure it out. So that's why I was thinking that therapy was going to be really helpful, uh, helpful for her because she acknowledged that she had that issue. Um, but it might be because she hasn't been able to be consistently in therapy. And it also is because right now she's not getting what she wants, which is that outlet, that phone. Um, and that might be causing some of the behavior as well. But I think if both parents are just kind of doubling down with each other, um, she might understand that she needs to get through this therapy and that these both of the parents are on the same page. That you guys got to be on the same page. You just have to. All right. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do for now. All right. Anything else? John, I had a question. Yes. Because me and Mr. Wade, because with the screen, uh, three year consent order between Mr. me and Mr. Way, we can't talk to each other. So it's like, it just, we got to go through the kids and say what's going on. It's okay. like, we can't talk say to each other. I said, oh. me and Mr. the three year consent order, protect the order. So it's like, I can't talk to him and he can't talk to me. So we can't communicate back and forth with what's going on with the kids. We have to put the kids involved to talk about what's going on with them. Your Honor, I have a suggestion for that. There okay. is a app called app close it does the same thing that our family wizard does but it's free what is it called oh I think we may have lost uh judge barry hold on one second okay i'll put i will put it in the chat though okay okay you you were saying that there is an app that does what uh, it's a free app called App Close. It does the same thing that Our Family Wizard does, but it's free. Okay. Um, and so I just put the link in the chat for um, both of the parties. Uh, Mr. Way and Ms. Thomas Way, are y'all okay with using this mechanism? That way it'll track what you're saying to each other and everything that you need to use would be about the children. You won't use it to stalk. You won't use it to say anything negative about each other. It would be about being able to communicate with the children with regard to issues such as she has therapy today. Don't forget, got to take her to a doctor's appointment today. Today is my weekend. You things of that things of that nature. You won't be saying stuff like every time I talk to her, she says something negative about you. Don't you don't you're not using it for that purpose. You're abusing it for purposes of orchestrating the parenting of the of these children. Do y'all understand that? Yes. yes. All right. So we'll uh, Miss Holloway put the app in. Miss Miss Holloway, when, where'd you send it? Did you send it to Miss Harris? Uh, I put it in the chat for everyone. Yes, ma'am. I see it, Miss Harris. Y yes, ma'am. I see it. Yes, okay, thank grab you. it for me. All right, there we go. All right, thank you so much. Y'all are free to leave. Okay, thank you. 